All right, hello once again, Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College. And we're about to create our last file, which is the contact.html file. So what I'll do, let's see, what do we have up here now? MPG, yeah, we can use that one. So I'll do a file, save as, and we'll save that as contact.html. All right, so let's start up here. Oh, I guess for our mpg file which we just had open let's open that again it's got mpg on it good just wanted to double check all right and let's go to our about that's got about that's correct let's just jump into our close that script now because that works we can close our css we can close our mpg all right, so this will now say contact. And down here we'll say contact us. All right, we won't have any image here. We will have a form. All right, now when we do this form, just so you're aware of this, I want you to all see this. We will eventually come in and be asking the person what state they live in. So I've already got this. This is just a shortcut so I don't have to. There is one, two, three pages worth of type here. And one and about a quarter of those pages is just those 50 states. So again, we're going to do all this stuff. But I'm going to come in for my form. I'm going to change the name of this to We'll change the name to contact form. Again, this is server side. I'm sorry, this is client side only. We're not doing anything on the server. So there is no action. And the method really and truly doesn't matter. But I'm going to come in here. And we're going to have a bunch of label and inputs. But we're not going to have any spans. So I'm just going to remove all the rest of this stuff. All right, plus I'm going to remove that paragraph that's down at the bottom because we don't need that either. So let's see what that leaves us with. So we're going to start with here. We'll say first name. And we'll do a line break. And then we'll have last name. Let's just take a quick look and see if we're in the right direction here. Yeah, that's looking good. All right, so. Then we'll need address and city. So what is that done now? You can see it's molding into form pretty much. All right. So the next thing is the state. And this is where we're going to put all this other stuff in. Now, did, how did I set this up? Okay. So I need to have a label. And that label 
will be for state. And then we will put in this big select hunk and select statement that we have right there. see what that did all right so we've got all of our states in here and I included the District of Columbia as well all right and next we are at six minutes so we're doing great for time and I've got another phone call I apologize all right, so next we want to come in and we want to add um, a zip code and email. So let's just grab these two right here. And we'll put them down here. So this will be, just call it zip. And here we'll put zip code. Now, I'm not doing anything yet as far as um, worrying about doing any kind of formatting or anything. We'll get that to that in just a minute. Okay, and this will be email. And just keep it at email. And let's see. How about we'll put one more break there. And then we'll put in our submit button. That's just about everything. Well, let's put another couple. At the, yeah, we've got those here. So let's take a quick look at what we've got. First, let's get rid of some of those blank lines. Let's save. Go back to our form. Oh, I didn't put a blank line there, but that's okay. We'll fix that in a minute. This has got to be pushed over a bit, so that's fine too. All right, so before zip code. So right here, we needed a line break. I think this is looking pretty good. Again, there's still a little bit of tweaking, et cetera, that we'll want to do on that. All right. And right, let's take a look and see what we want to start doing to begin with. Okay, first of all, we can assume, we don't have to do this, but we can assume that every field in here is a required field. All right. So what we'll do is before we come to the end of each one of these, Labels are, of course, not required, but okay, so we'll end up doing that. The first name for the last name or the address or the city, well, state, you know, we'll just, I'm living in Missouri, so I'm going to say selected. I think that's all I need. I don't think I need to say selected equals selected anymore. So we'll see if that one comes up when we do this. Required. Required. All right, so let's try it again. Changed our state to Missouri. Notice if I submit, I get please fill in the field. Now it goes to the next one. Now it goes to the next one. Now it goes to the next one. 
Now it goes to the next one. And now it goes to the last one. Submit and boom, everything got submitted. Good. All right, that's fine. Let's talk about a, a few other things. All right, let's suppose that for the first name, we're going to also add in here max length equal 20. That means that's the most characters that you're going to be able to enter in for a uh, first name. We'll do the same thing for last name. For address, let's make it 50 because addresses can be a little longer. City, let's make that 20. State, we don't have to worry about because you know we're, we're picking the state. Uh, zip code, max length is going to be 10 and we're going to change that in just a minute. Email, that can be pretty big. Let's make that 75. All right. Again, I'm starting to wordsmith or just kind of tweak this a little bit. Let's take a look at it. There's not much more we can do with the first name or the last name or the address or the city or the state. They're pretty much done. All right, we can do some, some stuff with the rest of this that's here though. Okay, such as for the zip code, All right, we can come in here and we can say a few things. All right, such as, and I, it's funny because I'm looking at my, my hard copy. I didn't do any of this, so I'm doing this off the top of my head. And I'm going to say this, pattern equal um, slash that backslash D for... Hoping I'm doing this right. And that's how many? Five, three, two, that'd be five. Four. And dollar sign slash. Ooh, how did that happen? Dollar sign slash. So that's the pattern. What this says is we want five digits, and then optionally we can have a hyphen and four more digits. First, let's just even see if that worked, if I put the pattern in correctly. So, oops, I don't want to do that. So, one, two, three, four. Please match the requested format. That's good. Five, six, same thing. Five, notice that if I say number, 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 it doesn't like that. So, you can go out to here. You can go out to html5pattern.com and we can let the system find it for us. Postal codes, American. Okay. Copy. Now I'm going to take mine and I'm going to put it on the line below because I did my pattern incorrectly. Equal. So this is the pattern I should have used. Five hyphen four, like that. All right, let's check out that pattern. I'm not going to talk right now about regular expressions. We've talked about those somewhat before, so that's not my goal right here. One, two, three, four. Requested format, five. That worked. Dash, one, two, three. That should still be a legal good. Dash, four. That should be legal good. Okay. So that'll fill that out. And then finally, we'll say that this is type email. And again, when we come in here now, oh, that was interesting. It shouldn't have taken that, so 
Let's refresh. Use the amp, the at sign a at b dot com. And it worked. Everything was submitted. All right, so there's I've got to clean this up a little bit because this does not look like the original did. The original, you may or may not remember, but the original. This one here that looked like this all right oh and I didn't put in this box either all right but actually other than that if we look at the other one and we let's copy that and let's open up the new one or the old one whatever we want to say so that's that one let's cut the size of that down quite a bit so about half there we go and we'll open up another one here google chrome oh that didn't turn off very well did it So that's one of them. This will be the other one. All right. So, yeah. Website review, etc. Contact us. That's got to be bigger. Boy, other than that, it's really looking the way that it should look like. Okay. So I've got to add the comment section and that's just about it i think that that's going to be good enough for what we're working on right now as a friend of mine used to say good enough for government work so let's write in here we're going to put in One more look. That's the old one. So I'm going to get rid of that so we're sure that we aren't using the wrong one. That's the new one. And we have now added that. Oh, we need some line breaks there. And there's probably still a little diddling, as they say, that I can do with this, the H1 here, etc. I'm almost wondering, if I go back up to the top here. Yep, I have the style sheet. But my H1 is definitely not being rendered here correctly here. So when I did that in the... C 
CSS. All right, that was the header. And underneath that, I think I'd like to do this H1 and let's uh, font size 1.75M. Don't know if I made it better or worse, but we're going to see real quickly. Okay, so that's bigger now. The welcome is, the about is, the MPG is. I like those the way those look better now. Again, this isn't a beautiful site by any means, but it's functional. That's what I'm most concerned with. All right. Like that a little better. So I think I could use two of them there too. a little nicer it's a little pushed I still forgot to move those over so the MPG is fine the contact this is a size thing so MPG is fine the contact is fine the about I could add one more there and the welcome I could add a couple okay about and index whoops about and index open. It's not what I wanted. All right. So after the welcome, we'll put a couple. Save. And after the about, we'll put a couple. And save. There's welcome, there's about, there's MPG, and there's contact. Again, by no means is this perfect, but it's enough to get us back into the swing of things, I believe at least. Back to MPG, back to about, etc. Okay, so that's pretty much it as far as what I wanted to go through.